<laughs> and they'll not need to worry because I'll definitely be here speaking about Rangers in the knockout stages of the Europa Chris. League. And as we know after tonight, that's not for everyone. Good night. Uh, Celtic might be used to winning trophies, but none of them are going to be coming in Europe because once again, they are out by Christmas. Chris Boy couldn't resist a dig at Scottish football. It wasn't just Celtic. That clip you've seen is a wee bit outdated, but here, he likes to wind the Celtic boys up, doesn't he? And that's exactly what he's done. Well, he's got the opportunity to because more often than not, Rangers tend to be playing after December and Christmas and more often than not, Celtic are, are at home playing domestic football. Yeah, they're not here. They've got a pretty good racket when it comes to that, but it's all about the European football, ain't it? All about the European I'm football. I'm sure Celtic would have loved a wee day out in Dublin in the Europa League final, wouldn't they? Would have been the first time 99% of the supporters stepped foot in Ireland, so... They would have loved that, but that's not going to happen. And Rangers completely undermining the other two Scottish football results that happened before them. But Chris Boyd's comments are as follows. He says, it's an unbelievable result for Rangers. They got off their great start through Sima. That man, Kamar Roof, came off the bench and he swiveled and he put it under the goalkeeper. I think considering they dropped five points to Aris, bottom seeds in the group, really struggled against them, but have found a way to beat Betis and Sparta Prague. It's huge financially for the club and to get to that round 16. Once again, Rangers will fly the flag for Scottish football in the new year. End of quote. That wee dig in there. He's getting the shovel in, isn't he? Yeah, well, I mean, he's had, he's had to take a lot of shite over the years. He's had to watch his team be pish, so I guess it's it's only fair that he, he responds. It's been a pretty good week for Chris Boyd. Yeah, you has been a, you know, his beloved Kilmarnock getting the job done. Kilmarnock winning, Celtic losing in the league, dropping three points, and then Rangers getting through to the, the Europa League last 16. You know, Thursday nights are Rangers nights, and, you know, it was a great result tonight, but it was a Great week for the coefficient overall. But well, Sunday nights be Rangers night, so... It needs to be. Tell you what, Rangers whipping out photo. Uh, they're already releasing photo opportunities for with the trophy and all that shit for uh, Sunday. Aberdeen have already painted the winner bus. League Cup winners, 2023-24. Both so teams' conference, <laughs> someone's going to have egg on their face. Someone so, no, but someone turned around and said that they have to plan this stuff. I get that, but they release it. Yeah, plan it in secret for God's sake. Yeah, I can I can half accept the Rangers planning it. Aberdeen painting a bus. <laughs> yeah, the only bus Aberdeen need to worry about is the one back up to fucking the Aberdeen. Yeah, because yeah, you'll be going there shortly <laughs> after Rangers. See where uh, your runners up medals. Fucking keep them warm in that wee bus back up to Aberdeen. But anyway, guys, that's it. Um, Rangers get the last laugh, and you know. You'd have to be delusional to say that Rangers haven't been flying the flag for Scotland in Europe over the past, you know, five years, so to speak. Here, other teams have won, but no one, no one's been anywhere near Rangers. Isn't that right? As always, Rangers. All right, they had that bad season last year, but they've overcome it and they're back doing what they're doing, getting into the knockout stages and and hopefully winning some European ties and saving the coefficient. That's it, guys. Coefficient on their back. Coefficient on their back. But until next time, we'll be back.